Coach, I know this isn't new to you with uh, you know, the last few years of making it to the championship. Just uh, what's it like? Uh, what's it feel like this time um, getting to that point? Yeah, I mean, for, first I'd just like to start, uh, you know, congratulate George. I mean, what a match, you know, again, two nights in a row. And, um, you know, again, it's a shame people have to lose those matches, especially, you know, our teams have a lot of, a lot of crossover, a lot of mutual respect. And, um, you know, it's a great program they have and, and uh, you know, just a, a hell of a match tonight. Talk, talk about uh, Alex's. I mean, his last one on the court. Just talk about that match a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, as you sit there uh, uh, as a coach and watch the, you know, you can see the scoreboards and maybe you don't know exactly what's going on all the other courts. And you know, it looked like, you know, we were in position on some other courts. I think at two singles uh, with Axel up a break in the third, and we were had just broken uh, with Biro to go up a break in the second and, and Florin here was up a break in the third. So you, you look and that's when Ax, uh, Alex hadn't won the second set yet, you know, so, you know, it looks good. You're hoping to close it out so it doesn't come down to that. But, you know, we've seen all these matches before and, and you know, to close out three matches against three very good Georgia players is a big ask. And so you have to, you know, that's what I told Alex. I said, you have to be prepared to to dig in here and, and there's a very good chance that you're going to be the guy here and, and that's what he wants. He loves that. You know, he's won, you know, and Florin and, and Alex, our, our two Romanians, have won probably, you know, more clinching matches than, you know, anyone in OU history. So, um, you know, either one of them out on the court is, is who we want to have out there and, and Alex loves that that position as you can see. So it was, uh, you know, he, he did a good job of, of taking control of that, that third set early. Florin, I don't know if if you knew where you where you were if you you and Alex were the last ones on the court, but what was your you know what was your um, feeling or your thoughts during your match there the last uh, last set? No, you know that you guys. I wasn't were... really trying to look at the score because I don't know I don't really like that. It makes me like a little bit nervous. So just trying to focus on my on my match and then just win that and you know. What's that? Yeah, so I was just trying to focus on my match, and that was it, pretty much. When you won your match, what did you do? Uh, I looked at the scoreboard, and I saw Alex was the last match going on, so I just ran to his court. What's uh, what's going through your mind now, knowing you have another chance at a national championship? It's it's great that we're in the final, but we got one more match to go, so we just have to get ready for our match, doing everything we can, treatment and all that stuff, and then we just have to be ready to play a great, uh, great match more against a very good team of Virginia. Coach, I know this is kind of probably a little bittersweet, I guess, because of your relationship with, with Coach, uh, you know, you playing at Georgia and all that, but the, just kind of your emotions. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. It, right it's harder now. now than during the match, you know, and, and when you're shaking hands, it's harder. But, uh, you know, when you're out there, you just want to win. You know, and you want your team to win. And you want your team to, to execute. I mean, really, we don't we don't focus a lot on winning and losing. We focus on on doing our job and trying to execute and doing what we need to do to give ourselves the best chance to win matches. Because tennis isn't a there's there's no foregone conclusion ever. So that's what we focus on, and and that's what you do during the matches. And then you know afterwards, it's it's uh yeah, it's bittersweet at this point. I mean, it's uh you know if we're not if we're not playing, I'm a you know I'm cheering for the dogs. So you know that's just that's the way that is. That's the way it'll the way it'll always be. I know this week we've talked a lot about how important the doubles point is. I think you guys are now 17 and one, if I'm correct, on winning the doubles. I believe something like that. According what, this to year? Your notes this year. Yeah. 17 and one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we've won 17 doubles matches in the last two years. We only win doubles points at the NCAA tournament for some reason. So <laughs> that's like, a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Just, just talk about how important doubles. doubles yeah, it is. It's. Today. I mean, the way. Yeah, obviously. I mean, we would have. If we didn't turn our doubles around this week, we would have lost the last two matches. I mean, the the other two teams matched us in singles, and uh, you know, so it's it's we each won three points. Uh, you know, the last two nights, and if we don't we don't play the kind of doubles we've been playing uh, this week, then we're not we're not sitting here, um, you know, trying to get ready for the finals, and and so it's it's been a huge boost to to play. We spent a lot of time, and Florin can attest to it, in the last three or four weeks just really focused on doubles and, you know, not knowing if that's enough time or not to really see a big improvement and, and, it, and it's been. I mean, I'm proud of the guys to be able to come on this stage and, and start executing a lot of 
different things because we just decided we kind of had to do something different because what we were doing wasn't working. And uh, your opponent tomorrow, Virginia, you're very familiar with him. Uh, just talk about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, Brian and I are good friends too. So you know, it's another one where um, you know it's a little. You know, it's fun to play him in these in these moments, and we always talk about you know and and trying to play in the finals or Manny and I and Brian and I. So, you know, we, we've had good matches with Virginia over the last few years, and and you know I expect tomorrow to be to be another good one. I mean, they're you know they've been probably one of the you know them in USC over the last ten years has, has been the the dominant programs, and so you know we're trying to trying to just break into that. You know, and tomorrow's a you know a step in that direction, and and for us. You know, it's it, it, if, if, if if this team can do that, we, we've come a long ways. I mean, we've come a long ways regardless. And and uh, but you know, Virginia's you know they got out of here quick, and and we've got a lot of preparing to do. So you know, but I know my guys are going to fight tomorrow, and and they're going to you know that our team's competitive, and and you don't lose that just because you're you're a little bit tired. I think we're going to be we're going to feel good tomorrow. Do you know what uh, Alex did to turn that match around? Because the the way he played the third set was nothing like he played the first set. It was long points. It became shorter points. He was going for things. Yeah, he, you know, really, he just, he, yeah, he hit the ball a lot better. I mean, you're right. In the third set, he was hitting the ball a lot better than he did in the first. But he, he had a lot of chances, and he just, he wasn't making errors up until 40, 30, deuce, and that's when he was was making errors on those points in the in the first set. And I think that caused him to kind of be a little tentative and then he once he finally you know I was just like it's time and pressure you got to keep doing it you're 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 right there you have to win a couple of the big points and he had them on his racket and he just was you know making errors and um you know I just said you got it. there's nothing to change it's just execution and, and then he you know it, just tennis is a funny sport all of a sudden you execute two or three times and it just started you know the the, the train started going out of the station and and you know you saw in the third set he was rolling and um, you know, and Walker was fighting, fighting like crazy in the third set, and, and it got interesting there. I mean, he, Walker made it uh, uh, interesting there. I think the four-one game maybe to break. I, you know, it's a big difference, five-one or four-two, and, and Walker had a chance there, and he, and he fought really hard there. But you know, like you said, Alex was really going. I mean, his forehand up the line. You know, he, he it caught fire a little bit, and he hit some winners, and, and that's you know why he was able to extend his lead in the third set. If this was the case, does a player ever have to give himself permission to go for winners? It seemed like those errors you were talking about in the first set were just in rallies, mm -hmm. and now in the third set, he's he's hitting winners. Yeah, I mean, we don't really talk about hitting winners, you know, or or if it, if it happens to be a winner, that's great. You know, if you hit to the right spot enough times with enough pressure, you're going to end up hitting winners, and you know, and then sometimes you you know you you start getting a guy off balance, and you can hit it up the line. It might look like a guy's trying to hit a winner, but. I promise you, my guys aren't trying to hit winners. You know, um, you know that's not what we do. We we try to construct points and, and do that. And, and he did a fantastic job at the end. And he made a you know I mean you're gonna when you play that way and you're trying to use your forehand. I mean, you missed a couple, but I mean in the third set, I I, I know we don't keep stats at uh, NCA. I'd love to see the the you know the forced errors and I mean uh, forced winners and to unforced errors. And you know it's it's got to be pretty pretty remarkable there. John, what's it like that tension that's out there when you go into the the last remaining match, the third set, 0-0 zero, zero started up, and you know what's at stake. What's that like? Um, it's weird. Every match is different. I mean, sometimes uh, – are you talking about for me or for the guys? Or you, for, uh, knowing the yeah. the team, uh, you know what's at stake tomorrow. Yeah, it's, it, for me, I, it's, it's strange because it's different every time. I mean, sometimes you're really – and I think it depends on how your guys are playing. You know, it's different every time. And tonight, once Alex really got – really established what he wanted to establish, like I wasn't nervous at all. Because I felt like he was doing what he needed to do to to have a very good chance of winning that match, um, you know. So, but sometimes when guys aren't doing it, it's 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 you know nail biting. It's you know it feels like it takes years off your life. You know, tonight I don't it, don't think that was the case. I mean, I had a lot of confidence in, in Alex out there, and even Andre and Florian when I was looking at the scores, I I knew what they were doing and how they were doing it, and, and they did a great job.